welcome to The Ship Show. If you don't know why we call it that, you're about to find out. Jeff Newbarth is your host. Welcome to The Ship Show. As Amanda said, Jeff and AJ, part of the Callaway Podcast Network. Are you subscribed to this show? I know you are. You know who's I not am. subscribed to this show is I Daniel prove, Burns. I Daniel's not it. subscribed. Daniel, why, are you, why don't you subscribe looked, to the show? He has need to. Yeah, but he does need to subscribe. Uh. I know. I'm sorry. I'm not subscribed to any podcast. All right. What? So, Wait. So, so, hold on. What? So here's what I want you to What's do. What's the matter for you? Well, I so want you to on. grab back, your phone. I'm back here. I'm listening to the show live. So not every time. No. Know, but most of the time. But how oh. do you not listen to any podcasts? Uh, you know. Let me tell you something. <laughs> He's busy Wally, guy. Wally busy the guy, dog. Wally the, the one of the great dogs of Callaway. Yeah. Wally Your dog, great. Wally. Wally wants you to subscribe to the podcast. So okay, we're hopefully going to get subscribe. you. I'll subscribe. We also want you to email us, shipshow at callawaygolf.com. Daniel, you don't have to do that. Or call us, 760-804-GOLF. All right, AJ. Uh, yes. First things first. See, I'm just reading right off the format. Jaws Good. is in stores tomorrow. So you really want to get out there. Try this. Hit it. Buy it. Improve your short game. Yeah, I would say it's hard to test wedges in a simulator. Is it? Yeah. You know what Roger Cleveland says, right? You should never, he says lots of things. You should never determine the way you fit wedges to your game is you don't hit them outside of 50 yards. It's everything. Yeah, totally. Everything 50 yards and in. It's not about... The distances, you'll you'll figure that out. It's about how you use the wedge. And that's 50 yards and in. So if you're going uh, to get new wedges and you're unsure, well, first of all, you could listen to the Fitting Room yeah. podcast episode that we one just did. One of my favorite shows. Uh, that we just did. Daniel doesn't subscribe to that one either. No, I, you know what? It's all right. I'm, I'm, it's I forgive him because he's... He he does good work over here. So. He does great work. He did that gnarly but little you know what else? edit. But, that, but you know yo, what else that he edit could was, do? That edit was fantastic. Yeah. yeah. You know what else so he could good. do? He could do great work and subscribe to our podcast. Yeah. But they're not mutually exclusive. Like his work is not going to go down. The quality no. of the work will not suffer because it. Well, actually, listening to me and you could yeah. make his quality of work suffer. <laughs> I mean, do do you know how many top, how many rounds you should play between? Getting new grooves between getting new wedges. Well, once once a year for sure. It should definitely be once a year. Um, I would say you know in the thirties. Yeah, fifty rounds. They say no, 50, would, 50, 60 I would rounds. Do thirties. Fifty, sixty twice, rounds, or, or, or a year. for me, it'd be twice a year. For, yeah, for, yeah, because you, yeah, seriously, <laughs> you have to change grooves like the pros do. So I've been, so I've been practicing. Uh, my guy Josh Kendall's helped me a little bit. Nice. Um, and I'm practicing a, a wider takeaway. Are you a member anywhere? In, I'm not sure. Yeah, we've already talked about oh, okay. that. Um, all right, but where I am going to be, sure. where I am going to be next week, you've never told me to celebrate the Jaws. What are we going to play with there with me next week? <laughs> um, to celebrate the launch of the Jaws wedges, uh, Chad, Sean Gilroy, and I are going to go up to uh, Napa, and we're going to be there for the tour launch. That's right, that's right. You guys are going up there next week, uh, Napa Valley, yeah. one of uh, the great places, really. Um, yeah. You were up there not too long ago, weren't you? I'm right? up there quite frequently. <laughs> yeah, you guys. Uh, I don't. You guys, whenever whenever uh, Newbark is on vacation. Not the whatever. first, the first. That's a good place to look. Though. The first, the first guess is, oh, he's back in Napa. Yeah. Well, Paige yeah. and I like wine. Listen, what that's can I not say? A, I would listen if it was up to me. Yeah. Uh, Kai's a little too young for Napa. No, he's know? not. I mean, he could enjoy it. He could easily enjoy it right now. He, right. Enjoys, hey, whatever, gotta, he enjoys whatever we want to enjoy. Speaking of tour launch, I got a, a listener message from. Thank you guys for emailing us at chipshowcalloweygolf.com. We'll get to a couple more later, but we got one from Clay Smith. I'd love to hear from Kevin Napier or someone from the tour truck oh. on first impressions of working with the new blood on the tour after having worked with them for a few events. Maybe for an upcoming pod this fall. Love the show. Keep up the good work. So I talked to Kevin. Kevin is going to bring the truck here like he always does after Vegas. And, and he's going to pop in here and he's going to talk about some of these new guys. So but if you have questions for Kevin Napier, email us, shipshowcalloweygolf.com. We'll do a full show with him. Well, th we should get Kevin on... Uh, uh, All any, the time, any, anytime we could, because he's one. He's the he's the best. Well, he should have his own podcast. But here's the thing. Here's the problem with that voicemail. Here's the problem. It's, it was an email. Here's the problem with that email from listener message uh, from from what was, what Clay was Smith. Oh, Clay. Yes. So Clay, here's the problem with your request. Where if you're looking for like stone cold insight, honest insight, don't listen to us. You're not gonna get it from Kevin Napier because one, he's too nice Two, he gets along with everybody. He does. So he will even not, us. he, even if somebody is pissing him off or 
is just being a real pain in the ass on on the truck because hey listen tar pros could be pains in the asses just like what just like i could be a pain in the ass just you? like you could be a massive pain in the ass i mean most listen of the time. they're 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 just like us so they're not perfect all time obviously but i don't know if you're gonna get those stories publicly yeah, from but kevin think, because but I think, it might jeopardize his, yeah, his job and what clay asked for is first impressions of working with first the new impressions guys. what if he doesn't like so working here's, with a guy yeah but here's the thing he's not here's gonna tell thing. us that so I'm, gonna, I'm gonna speak for clay a little bit i think clay may be looking at at doing some gambling so, for instance, I looked, and our buddy, our buddy Shea is 175 to 1. No, I just looked at this. Okay. 175 to 1 to win at Sanderson. Yeah, I mean, I don't hate those what odds. If, what if right. Kevin said to you a couple weeks working with you, dude, this guy is unbelievable, and his game is perfect for down the road in Sea Island or for this – AJ, we could profit off this information. So could our listeners. Well, listen, 175 so. to one. That would be. Well, no. You know what the thing is about uh, tournament? Like, you, there, there's no such thing as like the fix was in well, because it's not. golf. It's yeah. like it's it's you, you can't fix 138 it. other guys. <laughs> right. You cannot control it, and everybody's trying to win. So like, Do you wanna... nobody nobody purposely yeah. um, misses foul shots. Uh, That's true. As, I, as, I know, you know you're going to do some picks a little bit later. I yeah, don't know if you're I'm doing do par five bet. picks or something, but I think you're just doing your best I'm bet, do my which best is bet. which which Lex. That's a new way for AJ to only have to do one pick instead of five. Yeah, um, it's, it's easy. Like that. I love the idea. It's much But watch out for Sam Burns this week. Sam Burns. You pick Sam Burns. Louisiana guy. Week. Yeah, but listen to my logic. Louisiana yeah. guy playing next door in Mississippi. Mm-hmm. I like that. Yep. His Tigers are looking mighty fine. Yeah. So they- he's in a good mood and a good place. And and Sam's going to be one of those guys who goes like, miscut, miscut, win, top five, miscut. Right. Like, you don't have to worry about consistency because when he's on, he's on. So. You know, just, who I ran into, you know who I ran into yesterday? Sam Burns? Uh, at the old ECPC. Oh, the story would have been so much better. I know. Uh, well, it reminded you me You didn't of run Burns. into him. You went over to see him. No, uh, Norman Norman John was yeah. over there. Yeah, with our buddy Sposa. Yeah, but I didn't know Norman was going to be over there. I went yeah. over there because uh, Schoolboy Q was over there. Can you say that? Schoolboy Q. Yeah. Are we allowed to say he was here? Of course I've. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Him and Stephen Malvin came by. Yeah. I went and saw those boys. And then, nice. uh, just so happened, the funniest thing was that Norman was right next to us. And he's like, hey, um, and he like just came up to me. I was. Uh, yeah. were, uh, were you in a golf shirt? Uh, no, I was in a long sleeve tee. <laughs> you have golf shirts at your desk just for these reasons. I was. I was, I was in a long sleeve tee. So. Oh my god. So uh, uh, Norman wanted to meet Schoolboy, but before I could even introduce them, uh, Q goes. Hey. Do you call him Q? I call Do him you Q. call him Schoolboy? Call him Q. So what would you call if Q-tip and Schoolboy Q were together? What would you? I'd say Q-tip, would you do it? Q-tip, Q and Q-tip. You go Q and Q-tip. Q and Q-tip. All right. So he looks over and he goes, "Hey, aren't you that boy from Oregon?" And Norman like starts like laughing. He's like, "Yeah." He's like, "You you swing like 130 miles an hour." I'm like, "Man, this guy knows his shit." That's I'm awesome. like, "This is pretty impressive, man," because you know, obviously Norman is is known in the in, yeah. in the golf world, but uh, not to uh, not to really more casual fans. You know, no. I mean, it's just. Uh, it's just the facts. Well, you would relate to the casual fans being that you're in a long sleeve t-shirt hmm. at the performance center. All right, a couple more the, things. Man of, the, man of the people. A couple more things. So Lex yeah. won't yell at me for not covering golf. If you have not uh, gone to WRX lately, our good friends at WRX, they were here yesterday. Yeah. They did a uh, video that was live at the time with Nevs and uh, Roger Cleveland, the OG of uh, Wedge Design. Uh, I believe it's on their YouTube channel. So go yeah. check out the Golf WRX YouTube for that. Uh, in addition to... I'm going up to Napa next week, like I said, with Hashtag and uh, what Sean. Days, what days are you going to be there? Uh, I'm leaving Friday, and I'm back Wednesday. You're leaving this Friday? Back Tuesday night, yeah. So Fri- oh, okay. oh, so back Tuesday night. Yeah, yeah back Tuesday okay. night. Okay, so Monday and Tuesday on Monday tour. and Tuesday, I'll be up there, yeah. Nice. perfect. Um, but a lot of folks are heading to Boston. Shipping out to Boston, Bean as the town. great song goes. Uh, home of the not going to the playoffs, Boston Red Sox. <laughs> um, they are uh, going out there for the national sales meeting. Yes. And we can't really talk much about the national sales meeting because what's going on there is stuff uh, that, that yeah. we just can't let people know about yet. Yeah, a lot of non-disclosures, but a lot of NDAs. I will say that the video we did for opening day two, have you seen it yet? The video... For opening day two. Oh, no, you told me about it. Yeah. It could be the best sales meeting opener that we've done. So at uh, at some point, we're going to try to figure out a way to shoot. Well, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Nice. I'll show it to you after this, yeah. uh, the final version. It oh, came out, it came out amazing. Oh, yeah, it came out amazing. Guys. Group, so I just wanted to kind of throw that there. Trevor, awesome job on that. Other trips next week. Lex, you are off today, actually. Yeah. To, uh, yeah, to Lex. New York City. Talk about it. 
Um, so Sarah and I, Sarah's a graphic designer here um, at Callaway, and we have the Girls in Golf pod, but we're going to New York for an event with this group called Gruder Golf, and it's like a, it's a ladies-only event this time around, but it's a group of women who are basically like 35 and under who might just be getting into golf. They might have played golf for a long time, but we're going to go out and play a scramble for the day and then have a party. Yeah, Gruder, Gruder does it right. Kirsten, yeah. Kirsten who runs it. Uh, they do all these events and they get like these amazing turnouts and they're all uh, based in and around New York City. Yeah. Uh, she's got like a nice little following going on. So I love that's that's so good. Lex, that's so good that you guys are going out yeah, there. For so it. when yeah, Lex really when Lex is back, they're going to have a friend. full recap on the girls and golf pod. And we'll talk about it on this pod as well. Yeah. The most important thing, Lex, is AJ and I always do whenever we travel. Where are you eating? I'm going to I'm actually I giving have, I'm actually giving, no them <laughs> yeah, giving them a little list. Yeah, I'm giving them a little listicle. OK, yeah, I got a couple places, too. That wouldn't be awful. Wait, are you taking a red eye tonight? No, oh. technically. Remember, this show this airs is, on Thursday. This airs tomorrow, Stay in with so the lie, will, so then she'll be already flying. be going. Ah, so yeah. you'll be in the air when this airs. Correct. Correct. Ah, okay. Yeah, the whole time space continuum. Um, all right. After uh, Lex gives us some more good information, we have a little fantasy football week to update. Even though I really don't want to talk football on this neither, pod, neither do I. Lex had a gigantic win. The Velardo exaggeration of the week. We got to get that in for sure. Oh, you got a good one. Yeah, oh, okay. and uh, and that's the only reason we're doing fantasy football. And uh, we're going to talk about your best bet, AJ's best bet. But Lex, yesterday, yeah. if you happen to be watching oh, finale, the American right? Broadcasting Company from 8 o'clock until <laughs> whenever that thing 11. ended, you saw a lot of Lex. Paige was on there with you, too, um, yeah. because they've been hiding this deep secret, AJ, <laughs> that they've been hiding this, this deep secret of, A, they knew who the next Bachelor was. Yep. Yep. B, they knew what happened in paradise. Yep. Uh, and they've been having to live a lie for a little bit. So, Lex, it's time for you to come clean. Yep. And give Ready. us the... Uh, I'm assuming oh this boy. recap's going to be 25 to 30 minutes. <laughs> so, AJ, we can uh, we can shut our eyes for a second and let Lex go. Okay. So, I think for, the, for recap purposes, I'm just going to say Dylan and Hannah are engaged. Chris and Katie are engaged. And Which Chris? Chris... Bukowski. Okay, we've discussed this. There's multiple engaged. Chris's Dylan on the show. And Chris's. Hannah G are engaged. Thank and you. Demi and Christian are engaged. And they also got like second time engaged because Christian proposed to Demi on the finale and Demi had proposed cr to Christian on the beach. So, wait, so they're getting married for a second time? Like no, they're just like double engaged. They both oh. get engagement rings. AJ, that just reminds me of a couple of potted plants. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, Lex, okay. boom, so and there going. it is. Nicole and Clay are not together anymore. The, we actually got to see like them talk on the couch, but it didn't air because of all this other stuff that happened. Blake was in the hot seat. He didn't really apologize for releasing the text messages that he put out about Stagecoach, which was a huge piece of drama during the season. Um, and really, I mean, other than I would rather talk about like my experience at the finale. Well, that's my question. Finale. All right, do yeah, you want to do that? that? I know. So, so yeah. tell us, tell us one thing that you're allowed to say yeah. from one of these tapings that people don't know that they should. Ooh, they don't know that they should. Hmm. Um, oh, we had to do the walkout for Demi and Christian twice because they forgot to hide hide the ring on set. Got so it. They like the ring that Christian was going to give Demi. So they had to walk out twice. Okay, so there's that. The other thing is we also how for eight hours. I was going to say eight hours, AJ, to cut yeah. down to three. To cut down um, to really two because the proposals took up the first hour of the show. That yeah. is heavy. Yeah, yeah. and uh, That's crazy. Bath bathroom breaks severely two. limited, right? We got two bathroom breaks. Thank you so much to Karen, who is Chris's lovely assistant. Yeah, she's she awesome. made sure that we got water and bathroom breaks. Yeah, because so you're in there for eight hours, man. One. You can't you can't go to the bathroom. The other yeah. thing, the other thing is is wardrobe. Talk about um, wardrobe. Oh there gosh. were there were many wardrobe requirements for being in the audience. Yes, I'm like, so this really? Like, why are you yawning? You couldn't I'm, wear. I, I'm drinking cold brew and yawning at the same time. <laughs> we so. couldn't oh wear God. black. It's we could not wear white. You could not wear of the cameras. a pattern. Mm -hmm. You could not wear. You had to wear something like business casual. So I wore a dress that I'd wear to like a job interview. And then there's all these are you like 21 year olds that are wearing like something they'd wear to brunch, like oh. spaghetti straps and wait, what's um, the difference? Stuff like that. I don't know. What's the difference between brunch and uh, to brunch and a job interview? Brunch and a job interview. It's I like you know, kind of the same. No, no they're so not the same. Oh. <laughs> so what I would have done, what I would have done, Lex, if if you had counseled me on what you should have worn for this, is you should have worn a gigantic Callaway Golf logo. Oh my goodness! Yeah, that would have been great. Chris wouldn't have minded. No, Chris loves Callaway yeah, Chris Golf. Chris wouldn't mind it at all. But when we found out that we were going to see the next Bachelor, <laughs> and I found out that I was going to see Peter in person, I thought I was going to lose my mind. So when? So so let me ask you that: When did you guys figure out 
that you were going to get? Because they don't always do that. They don't, but... I mean, this makes sense. The taping's got to start in like two weeks. I'm pretty sure. They're starting in October. Oh, start really? of October. Yeah. Which is in like so two and a half weeks. Which is literally right. Is what you're saying. Hey, if you want to go, we can call Chris right now. <laughs> Even though I don't know how much PTO my you have friends, banked out. My friends have all told me that they were going to put in for me. And I said, I have to edit product videos at some point. You know what, AJ? Do you think we could outsource some product videos? So Lex, we would do better as a company if Lex was on. The Bachelor, if and we 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 could figure out the product videos. That I was gonna go Why? on national television to date. It would just from the edit. I it would be Peter. So I don't know. I don't know. Why don't you apply to be on that show? Because I don't know that I I don't I don't. It's kind of terrifying, <laughs> isn't it, to date attempt to date on national television? Yeah, but exciting, you know. I mean, what's it's the worst that could happen? You can make a couple bucks from what's, what's it, you know? Worst? What's the worst that could happen? <laughs> what's the worst? <laughs> right, you don't have no. to get married, Lex. Yeah, exactly. You know? Just the whole thing. Talking yeah. about marriage. <laughs> right. Well, I thought those things were supposed to end in marriage. I mean, they push heavily Occasionally for a proposal. Do. I mean, I yeah. feel like I would be, like, a best-case scenario for a contestant, but also worst-case because, I like, during an interview, I might be, like, really distracted or I would know, like, what they're trying to get at and I might be a little bit tougher-skinned. See, yeah. my thing, my thing, AJ, is yeah. that if if we're going to, like, we only have one opportunity to call Chris and, like, ask for this exception right. as to get Lex on the show. So I think we need to be super, like, tactical, right, as yeah. to how we use it. I think we should get her as the Bachelorette. I have to go on The Bachelor first, though. That's I, well, that's what I was just going to say. Yeah. Yeah, the yeah, yeah. issue is we have to get her on The Bachelor first. first. I, we could However, do it. However... I don't have the wardrobe to support this show. Fun fact. Uh, Fun fact. They probably give you stuff. Day. Yeah. And no, don't when you're a contestant, when you're not the lead, you have to bring everything in well, like two well, Lex, One, one Paseo, man. Yeah. Toast. Don't you live right, Lex, right over there? Lex, we solved this whole thing. You're just going to wear Callaway logos every day. You know, women have gone into <laughs> debt over going on this show. Some no way. Went really? And spent like 30 grand. Yeah, but. What? Which literally. I would never do. All right. Here, by here, the way. What? Here's what we'll do. Here's what we'll do. We'll talk to our good buddy Jay Target. Newts. We'll talk, no, no, we'll talk to Jay Newts, <laughs> and we'll have Jay Newts be Lex's wardrobe consultant. <laughs> and everything you pick has to be from the Pro Tour closet here. Yeah, no but offense, then you Jay probably Newts. won't. I'm gonna pass. You wa you won't get. You might not get selected. You then. can wear pullovers <laughs> that say Callaway with Odyssey on the sleeve. You can occasionally wear a Met Golf open, you know, polo <laughs> shirt. Listen, listen. Callaway Tour. I hat. thought all. I thought all or a lot of women like to shop at Target. Is that not? Is that uh, not true? That just likes to go to Target. I, I did. I, there's luckily San Diego and Carlsbad have a lot of boutiques that are they not do. overpriced. Carlsbad Village has like a million. Um, and I really like a few of them, so that's kind of where I shop. Yeah, I mean, yeah. literally Carlsbad Village. Yeah, there's totally. one every other store. It's like insanity. AJ's credit cards are on file. Yeah, they sure are. All right. Well, no, not anymore. I put a hard stop to that. Oh, good job by yeah. you. All right. Uh, if you have questions for Lex and you want to get more in depth about the Bachelor in Paradise finale, email us at chipshowcallawaygolf.com or call 760-804-GOLF. AJ, an equipment question from Will H. Oh, sure. Hey, Lex, this is Will from Charleston. Oh, hey. I must say I felt compelled to write after hearing you haven't gotten any list or emails in a while. <laughs> Tell Jeff I said, go Tigers, because I'm a Clemson alum. Well, congrats. You beat us 41-6. to six. Well done. On a gear <laughs> note. Wow, that wasn't salty. Well, I'm a little salty about football right now. Can you find out for me what putter these days would be comparable or comparable? No one else gets that but me. To the Odyssey White Hot number six. I've always been mm. drawn to the look and feel of number six. He's played it for years. I love what you do with the podcast. Keep up the great work. Help this person, AJ. A, an Austin, I think. A Toulon Austin putter. Because number six is a blade, I'm pretty sure. Well, you're the certified uh, master I'm fitter, of number not me. Two. Um, I'm pretty sure Odyssey, Toulon, Austin. Hold on. Oh wait, while I'm while I'm while I'm searching. While for you're this, googling to figure out what the putter is. While I'm searching for this, what you know, was wait, the wait, 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 you know what came up when I just what? typed in Odyssey number six? It brought up Homer the Odyssey. <laughs> Should I read the book? Yeah. Okay. So I was right. So either so. either the Toulon Austin, mm -hmm. Toulon San Diego could be really good. Uh, I would look at one of those. Um, you well, know, what if, they, they what, might, if he a, what if he likes an insert? If, I would say maybe look at a double wide too. I know it's a little yeah, bit it's different. A little, it's definitely a little but different. But you might like that. it. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, double wide would be the closest thing to that. But uh, yeah, number six is a cool shape. Um, yeah. 
A lot of people must not have used it though. Otherwise, we well, would have. I feel bad for Will. Wow, one hundred and fifty-four dollars on eBay for this. Yeah, but we don't. Huh. <laughs> that's that's a lot. It's a lot. Isn't that expensive for an old white yeah, hot well, Will, number six? Will sell your old white hot number six and then buy <laughs> buy a two lawn. Pot. Literally, you you yeah. get uh, almost half the money deal. right there. Pretty good deal. All right. Wait, wait. Uh, what was the combined score of your two favorite teams oh, yesterday? Up. I don't want to talk about it. I'm just curious. Do you I don't know? I want to talk about it. Oh wait, I know. <laughs> oh wait, oh wait. I think I know. One team got six. The other got zero. And both one team uh, gave up the... 41. One gave up what 43. 43. Yeah. So it's 84 to six. That had to have been one of the worst sporting weekends for you, personally, right? Thanks. You want to keep talking about it? Did you play golf at least? No, I was a kaboo all weekend. I told you that. Oh, all right. So it wasn't like at least you probably didn't even watch the games then. Watched a little bit of it. Do you have Sunday ticket? Yeah. So now, huh. now all I get to do is I have two other games to watch because I root against Houston and I root against Pittsburgh now because we have their draft picks. Well, let me ask you a question. Do you prefer Sunday ticket over Red Zone? Of course. Why? Because I can choose my own adventure. Red Zone, I'm stuck with whatever Andrew and uh, Siciliano or Scott Hurston want. Yeah, sometimes see. you never even see like. Yeah. John- no, they show every touchdown. Well, I want to watch more than touchdowns. Yeah. No, like. Well, it's funny for giant for giant games. Yeah, you never see them. You never see them because yeah. they don't score touchdowns. Same with us. Or you see them. We giving haven't up, scored all year. You see them giving We've up scored touchdowns. two field goals all year. Don't complain about your giants. That's a tease to my best bet of the week. All right, that's a tease. Let's get to this football, Lex. Yeah. Huge under the radar big week. victory for you. Yeah. How much yeah. money you win, Lex? Uh, well, you got to explain what there. this is. So, so we do this um, pool with my dad and then like a, a hundred other people. Um, no, I joined it last year. Em. Jeff's in it. Finley's in it. Finley joined this year. Luke is in it, I think, and Jay Newts. Matt was going to be in it, but there was a mishap there. Oh no. Um, Matt was Matt was traveling on a <laughs> so uh, company dime trip. <laughs> surprise, oh. surprise. He tried to expense it and, and it got rejected. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, so that's what oh, Audit calls him. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> now it makes sense. So, oh, he's um, going to be so pissed. So going into Monday, so I was tied with I think seven other yeah, people. There were seven of you Jason tied, Finley. including Finley. You all including had Cleveland. Finley. We all had Cleveland, so it was going to come down to points. Smart. Yeah. And Finley came over to my desk Monday morning and he said, "Does anybody in this league that your dad like signed us up for? Does anybody know anything about football? Because it's the second week in a row yeah. that I've been close to the top." And I said, "Well, Finley." I'm close. I like. I'm tied for the lead too. I could beat you this week. And he was like laughing, laughing, laughing. So then, I had the under. I my point total was 36. Right. I always pick 44 for the and point the total others every week. Were 38 and 41. Finley was 41. I think. Right. That, so yeah, I'm usually around 41. 42. The, um, I always go 44 for Syracuse. I just figured they were such terrible teams. 43 now. That the odds of them getting to 40. Were yeah, no, I'm with you. Better, that makes we're sense. like slimmer than what than normal. So, I bet 36, and Cleveland scored 16 in the first half, and I and let's see, a little nervous. Jets you get a little three. nervous. I got super, super yeah. nervous. I texted <laughs> AJ and Villardo, and I was yeah. like, I'm totally mm-hmm. effed. And then the second half happened, and yeah. I was just like biting my nails the whole time, and I won. And Finley got third, which means he didn't sorry, get any money. Jason. He only no top one. two so pay. What, what does what does the weekly winner get? We're not going to talk about the numbers on the air. Why? Because there's tax implications. Yeah. No, there's not. Not, got, not got, No, there's no tax implications. AJ, you in played this game. in this league with yeah. me, and we you, never you won a know. week. I know. Well, that's not surprising. I won. Either. I won a week last year. Or I came in second in a week, right, Lex? No, I think you won a week. I won. Well, I thought I tied, but I think my oh. forty-four screwed me. Me and my brother are, are in a big one. Yeah. We've done the same one, and uh, and that's probably why I didn't do uh, Lex's because because uh, all my attention goes to this one. The first week I picked, if you don't get more than eight wins for mm-hmm. each week, the other guy picks. Right. I got five wins the first week. Oh, nice. My brother got twelve wins this week. Oh so wow. He's picking. Uh, nice. He's picking next week. Nice. Uh, I'm yeah. I'm three We're behind the today. lead right now, so I'm I'm coming in there. All right. Um, Consistent. Tony Toulon, our good buddy Tony Toulon, beat Luke in uh, in, yeah, in the fantasy. internal fantasy league with the team that Tony Toulon stole from me. Um, <laughs> I'm pretty sure that Luke laid down to give Tony the win because because Luke's kind of on this like pro Tony bandwagon oh. type. Like he he stole my team and oh, gave it to Tony, and now Wait, what Luke's do you mean turn- stole your team? It was my team, and then Luke scheduled the draft when I was on a work assignment. So he gave my team. To, but all along, Luke looked at the schedule 
to purposely steal the team from me and give it to Tony because he tried last year to get Tony a team yeah. and Scott thwarted him. <laughs> wow. But now Luke's the commissioner, so he can do what he wants. I never, so, I never realized how much politic dude, it goes on. So much fantasy. politic. You better watch out. You're I, you're I, about I, no you, kidding. You could easily lose your well, you team. You know what? I'm 0 yeah, two, and you don't I care have anyway. I have no signs Trevor of also. getting so better. In my, so in my in my stupid other league that my my buddy Mark and I do, we only won because we had Baker and OBJ in that one pass. So we're now one mm. and one. All I right. hate fantasy football. All right. Okay. Uh, I want to offer people before your your par five or your best my bet best pick, bet my survivor pool strategy. So we're oh, in that that please. giant one. Mark and I are in this the giant the one from New York that we've yeah. been doing forever. We have two entries. One of the entries we've committed the entire season. We're just gonna pick against the Dolphins. Oh well, that's funny because I have a similar strategy to my best bet. Yeah, pick, just pick against the Dolphins. Pick against the Giants. Yeah, pick against the <laughs> Dolphins. So, uh, Villardo's exaggeration of the week. Wait, wait, wait. Um, let me do it. It was okay. in my text message. Was well, I was just going to set it up before I was okay, going to toss it, it to you. So, Villardo uh, is in the Fantasy Football League. Luke hasn't kicked him out yet, but I have a strange feeling this will be the, the this could be the last year Villardo's oh, in the league. well. I think Luke's, got, Luke's looking to bounce him because um, mm -hmm. that's what Luke does. <laughs> um, even though if he's not commissioner, he won't be able to bounce him. But a dictator, Luke. but Lex, what yeah. what's Villardo's record and and what is uh, what is Mister so Exaggerator bragging about? I was about? texting AJ and Villardo and telling them that I really needed all of their well wishes to win my money this week, and Villardo said, "LOL, I'm two and zero. By the way, I think I might run away with this league." Oh, and I that's said, such a good one. <laughs> I said, and Villardo finishes the season two and, two and nine. Out all hope, and he said, "I love how both of us think we're we've won or lost it after week two. And I thought. I just told you I'm holding out hope to win. Yeah. So so the thing with starting 0-2. What, what, what are you doing with your glasses? I, you know me. Just stop. <laughs> yeah, so the thing about starting 0-2, Lex, is that week three is an absolute must win. Oh, my God. You're going to sound like a sports center talking. You can't you, go 0-3 no, and make the not playoffs. In fantasy, not in fantasy. Oh, not, with, not in a 12. Stop. Not in a 12-person league. It's impossible. Okay, Kevin DeGandhi. So if, if you start off. 0-3, there is a 0% chance. I, I should look at the statistics, but... Yeah, you I should before I you say 0. I won't, but... Well, it's, it's like, it's like needing 1%. to win the Thursday game in a pick -em. Yeah. It's, listen... Stop. 0% zero, zero chance you're making the playoffs. All right, All right you want to go to the next Sports Center highlight? Bucks Nets <laughs> kicking up at the Bradley Center. Let's go to the videotape. You literally oh, sounded like... Man. You want to be on first take and argue some of that stuff? You cannot start 0-3 in your fantasy league and Can't. make the playoffs. Nobody's ever done it. Nobody. Someone's done Not it. Not one person. Someone's done it. Oh, look. We got uh, some, Who we have? Uh, I don't know. Finley's uh, showing some people around. Oh, that's great. He's probably waiting for us to get yeah. out of here. All right. So All let's right, uh, wrap um, it up. Why don't you wrap it up with uh, your best bet? Uh, bet against the Giants until <laughs> they prove you wrong. But they have a new quarterback. They're, yeah, exactly. I even more. And I think the Bucks D is like... I think Sneaky the Bucks good. D is pretty good. Sneaky good. So they're going to rough up uh, Jones in his first yeah. start. They're yeah. minus six and a half. That's going to not last. That's no. going to... That's going to go up to like seven, seven yeah. and a half. Uh, jump on them quick. Bet against the Giants. And if you don't bet against the Giants, I don't know if you could – could you t really take the Patriots? I mean uh, – The Cowboys? 21 and a half? The Cowboys. 21 and a half against the Dolphins. Yeah, but in a, pick in a survivor pool, it doesn't matter. It's zero. No, no. I'm not talking about a survivor pool. I'm talking well, about against the spread. That's what we're talking about. I know, but I'm just saying oh. against the spread. Yes, absolutely you could take it. But the Dolphins have lost by 40 points both of their games at home. They're going on the road to Dallas. Who's our quarterback? Who's the Dolphins? It? Yeah. Fitzmagic. He sucks. I know. And then I they're going to put Josh Rosen in. I can't believe he's a... Oh, do, do why you, don't they start Rosen anyway? Because they don't want to win. Are you not following this? But, Have you seen the logos? The, the, so the you, think if they put Rosen, you think they put Rosen in? They have in, a better chance to win. They probably have a better chance. You're right. Because you, you want to be, you be in on, on, on a little How secret? Starting? You want to be on a little secret? They're trying to tank for Tua. Shh. Don't tell anybody. By the way, did you see Landon's post yesterday? Is that a hashtag? Tank for Tua? Tank for Tua, yeah. yeah Landon, my good. son, had a post. Um, he put out all his jerseys Poor of the Dolphins. Kid. So he has Jarvis Landy traded, Jay Ajayi traded, uh, Fitzpatrick, who we thought was a long-term buy, traded, He's Tanny like Hill fan. traded. He has Bryce Butler, who got cut on the wall. Yeah. The only one he has less is Xavier Howard. Uh, somebody who Shout I, out Bryce I, Butler. I won't give the credit to now because I'm going to wait until they do this so we can publicly thank them properly is helping Landon get a jersey of a current player. I told <laughs> Landon to get a to, to get a Hall of Famer because they probably can't trade a Hall of Famer. Maybe they will. Maybe they'll trade Dan Marino's Hall of Fame ring. Get a Tua jersey. I want that's, just that's what get, I would do. Go to a custom shop. I know. Get the but number just put one. Tua. Just put Tua. Just get Tua because that last name is expensive. Just forget about the last name. Yeah. Three letters. You I can know. sew it yourself. I know. Teach yourself how to sew. I know. Amelia knows how to sew. 
That'd you be pretty sewing cool. this summer. That'd be pretty cool. All it's right. New Jersey. Lex, anything before we wish you all on the way to New York? I, I just, reminder, I need those restaurant recommendations. Oh yeah, right. no, I'll get you. AJ those. will definitely get yeah. that to you. Yeah. You will be banning the ship on Tuesday with I Lex. gave I gave New Bar uh, four yeah. really good restaurant recommendations yeah. and he didn't go to any I didn't of go to them. any of them. But I did okay there with food. So I really hope I really yeah, but, hope but, you, you actually take But Lex my isn't but yeah, but but Lex in my defense, Lex isn't on a keto diet, so she can't not go to the places no, that I, I can't go to. Macros. Yeah. Well, macros are better than keto. Oh, the macros. Yeah. You guys in your Whatever, uh, man. Lingo. You wait 10 years. You're 10 years behind me. <laughs> You'll be texting me in 10 years. Trust me. That's why I'm, I started early. Asking me for the secret to keto. I started, I started early. All right. Well, I will see you next Thursday with a full report yeah, of what's going on in Napa action. Valley. I'm excited. Um, unless we just take Thursday off and play golf because everyone will be at the national sales meeting. And in that case, we won't have a show. Shh. Whatever. We'll tape the show Wednesday. Who cares? Yeah. We'll make content Lex, out of we'll golf we'll see you anyway. next week after you get back from New York. Thanks, everybody, for listening to The Ship Show. I've been standing here waiting for these guys to finish up since the podcast started. Can I at least get a chair? Anyways, thanks for listening to the Pirate Ship Show. We'll see you next time. Visit CallawayGolf.com for more.